In this video, we're going to discuss the notion of something called improper integrals. So an integral is improper if one of two things happens. Either you have infinity or negative infinity in one of the limits of integration, or you have something called an infinite discontinuity. So let me go ahead and write that down. So you can have infinity or negative infinity as a limit of integration. So if that happens, we say the integral is improper. Or you could have an infinite discontinuity. So infinite discontinuity. And infinite discontinuity is typically what we run into anyways when we're um, looking at things in calculus. So for example, if you look at f of x equals 1, of, 1 over x squared, this is not continuous at 0. And we say it's an infinite discontinuity because if you look at the graph of 1 over x squared, it looks like this. And so when you take the limit as x approaches 0, you get infinity. So that's an example of an infinite discontinuity. Basically, you have like some type of asymptote. So let's do some examples where we just identify if the integral is improper or if it's not improper. So ex means example. And the question will say, is it improper? And we'll just say yes or no. So let's see a. So here we have the integral uh, from negative infinity to 0 of e to the negative x dx. So is it improper? Well, the answer in this case would simply be yes. And the reason is it has a negative infinity as a limit of integration. So it has an infinite limit. So this would be an improper integral. Let's do another one. All right, good stuff. How about uh, something like this, uh, negative 1 to 2 of 1 over x minus 1 dx. So this would also be an improper integral because when x equals 1, and 1 is between these numbers, that matters, uh, we have an infinite discontinuity. So this would also be an improper integral. If instead, let's say we take the same example of 1 over x minus 1 dx, and we change the limits from, say, 4 to 7, then in this case, this is not an improper integral. Sure, it's not continuous at 1, but 1 is not between 4 and 7, so life is good. So this is not an improper integral. D. Say we have 1 to infinity of sine of x dx. This would be an improper integral, so the answer would be yes, and the reason would be because of the infinity. So again, as a recap, an integral is said to be improper if you have an infinite limit of integration. In other words, at least one of the limits is infinity or negative infinity, or if you have what's called an infinite discontinuity. Basically, that's just a discontinuity where if you take the limit, you're going to get infinity or negative infinity. In this first case here, we had an infinite limit, so it's yes. This is not continuous at 1, and 1 is between these numbers, so it's yes. This one was no, and that's because, sure, it's not continuous at 1, but 1 is not between the 4 and the 7, so life is good between 4 and 7, so it's not improper. And this one was yes because we had an infinity. I hope this video has been helpful.